Um, did you feel that the tone and the tenor of the questions from the moderators were different in the earlier debate than the later de debate, or was it yes. lousy all the way around? No, I think it was different. It was, you know, maybe, you know, when they asked me what apps I use, I said Fox News, so I just was kind of a dig. But no, it, it was definitely different in the second debate. Too many moderators trying to have their moment rather than trying to elicit who's disqualified to be president. The RNC needs to look at this as an opportunity. The goal is to get the best qualified candidate to go in the ring against most likely Hillary Clinton. What I would do is I'd separate the field evenly, have less people on the stage, make sure they're asked good, penetrating questions. Let us challenge each other so that we'll get the best nominee. The CNBC debate on the, the you know, the, this, the top tier debate really missed the mark, I thought, in terms of what we wanted as a party. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was it, it was designed to actually disqualify the entire field, ridicule the yeah, entire field. Yeah, but, but, but let me just say this. If you're going to run for the president of the United States, you've got to be able to handle people. It's not that I can't handle a, a liberal, liberal moderator. I just want the, the debate become chaos. So here's the problem. Structurally, we're using polls, and I think unfair way. National polling at this point doesn't identify your competency as much as your name ID or your past what what job or TV show you may have had. What I'm suggesting is give everybody a voice to fill up randomly because we've got good candidates and let us test each other and come out of this thing with the best qualified person. And uh, yeah, that's what we need to do. If we don't make that correction, it's not about NBC as much as it is the structure. Okay. Hey, um, speak.